Well, thanks for tonight. Sorry about this. I have to get going now. Hey, hey, hey. Check her out. <laughs> You okay? Yeah. Sorry for making you wait for me. We just left the club. Where are you guys at? Hey, it was a pretty sudden request. How's the young lady? She'll be fine. Long as you get here now. Got it. Give me five more minutes. Heads up. It'll be a minute. I'm so sorry. I'm just not feeling well. If it's gonna take time, let's grab a taxi. All right, then. Let's head to the street. I think I had too much to drink. Could you not say anything to my grandfather? <laughs> I'll try and be discreet. Hey, you all good? If you want, we can give the girl a ride home. We're good. Thanks for that. My place is just over there, 30th floor. It's a great view. Don't worry. We promise we'll take good care of you. <laughs> hey! Osamu-kun here is doing you a nice favor, man. That's me. Osamu-kun at your service. <laughs> Buzz off. We can all hang out later. I'm afraid it's just gonna be me, though. What kind of dumbasses you think we are, old man? <laughs> <laughs> Got a situation. Where are you right now? Three minutes out. What happened? I'll tell you later. Stay here. Rest for a minute. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? No problem. Situations like these are why I'm here. Is she some big shot's daughter, maybe? I got you. Hear me out. You'll never guess what company my dad owns. Oh, you sure? You lay a finger on us and you'll regret it. Turn around now, and you can go home in one piece. But if you don't, then keep this in mind. Everything could have been avoided if you just let her leave. Asamakun! This guy wants to fight us. Well, now, this guy's just doing his job, right? And besides that, for the hero, the journey makes the prize better. <laughs> now, let's show the lady what real men look like!
No, no, no! My car! Oh, you've got to be shitting me! Hey! You got any idea who you're messing with? You're gonna regret this! Oh, sweet. Huh? You're worried about me, when you should be worrying about yourself. Oh, I mean... Please, wait just a moment. I thought I recognized you. Your father is the president of Maruhina, isn't he? Maruhina? A trading house? How do you... You and your father came to my grandfather's birthday party last year. Wait, are you... Hardy Jerogi Kubo's granddaughter? That's right. Oh my god! I am so, so sorry! Some friends I met while studying abroad in the Middle East have come to visit me in Japan. That's what brought me out tonight to see Rapungi for the first time. Do you all come out here often? Oh no no no! No, once in a blue moon! I can't tell you how sorry we are. Well, I am a little tipsy myself. Why don't we both just forget this ever happened? Oh, uh, sure. I didn't see a thing tonight. And I sure as heck didn't see you either. You won't say anything about this to your grandfather, will you? I won't. Oh, man. Thank you so much. I'm sorry again. You're just gonna let them get away with that? It's fine. Besides, I have more important things to worry about. Hmm? Please, I need to lie down somewhere. Hey, where are you? How much longer is this gonna take? I'll be there in three minutes. That's the same thing you said last time I asked. Mm, I feel sick. The man, so you beat the master. You got the plan, then we get the action. I got the answers to what you're asking, but can you handle a hand to hand? If you're not advancing, there's no advantages. It bring madness, syncing up with the savages. With bad habits, by the way of the dragon, the fight within, get ignited from real passion. The ties within heavy wind, I've been traveling. Now you know me as somebody that you never knew a face She ain't never seen a ghost of my old truth Burning through the pages of my soul Leaving no proof, only ashes Whisper for the memory of my past But it's no use And if I got a second chance, I had no clue I'm in the shadows hiding where I'm supposed to And you probably wouldn't believe it if I told you The only way you gonna see it if One I showed you walking alone Lost in the land, running from home One chance, right the wrong No one understands me Good evening. Really nice work out there. But you need to take care of yourself. Though it may be a snack, you still need to eat your vegetables, you know. You're even watching what I'm eating, I see. You didn't need to come get me. I was just making my way back. Right you are. Of course we know you'll keep your promise. You know we don't allow that in the car.
Should have had another. When I had the chance for it. The taste of freedom. Just a pathetic fool who drags civilians into Yakuza conflicts. Do it now! Sukai! Kill the girl and the kid! Shoot them already! <laughs> Are you awake, Kazuma Kiryu-kun? I have some news. I've just heard that Minoru Daidoji-sensei passed away in his sleep yesterday. And <clears throat> just... Who are you? I'm fortunate enough to have had a political mentor in the great Daidoji Sensei. May he rest in peace. So you're here about the hush money. I've done a great deal of research on you. You have a soft spot for orphanages, correct? Hmm. All you need to do is accept this money and promise you will keep our secrets safe. Do this and our dealings will be done. If you want me to keep all of your secrets... I have my own conditions. E excuse me! Do you know who you're talking to? This isn't a joke! Don't you value your life? Don't tell me I need to remind you we can get to your family and all your friends! Go ahead and try. <laughs> you say you did your research. And you know what happens when people hurt my family, don't you? You're saying you want that? Uh, but then, how can you guarantee you'll keep our secrets safe? What will you do? I'll die for you. What? You use your influence. Get me a death certificate. Make the hospital issue it in my name. And no one will ever hear from Kazuma Kiryu again. I see you're deep in thought again, Kiryu-san. If you see me concentrating, then why are you talking to me? Your concentration is weak if something like that disturbed you. You're quite unsparing in your criticism, Hanuma-san. The guy's just a freeloader, not a real acolyte. Don't mind him. I appreciate the concern. I have another job for you, as Joryu. 
Didn't I just do that bodyguard job for you? The one for Yutaka Okikubo's granddaughter. Oh, you mean the job you completed several months ago? And Ogikubo Sensei is a leading figure in the Daidoji faction. Show him some respect. Hard to show respect to a man I haven't even met. Look, you may have been a legendary Yakuza, but that time is over. Besides, I can't imagine you're satisfied just sitting around eating free food. I swore I'd take your secrets to the grave. And? Minoru Daidoji, the fixer. Controlled Japan's politics and economy in the shadows, from the post-war period until his death. If you want that to stay buried, we each have a price to pay. I faked my death and gave up my old life, even my own name. All you're doing is paying for my meals. Who are you to lecture me about sitting around? <laughs> Don't forget, we also help to keep Morning Glory running. That orphanage in Okinawa has a chronic cash flow problem. We go to great lengths, even running the transactions through multiple dummy accounts to ensure the support can't be traced back to Daidoji. It's not much, but if those payments were to suddenly dry up, what would happen to those poor children? What a rousing argument you have going on. All we ask is that you work a few jobs a year. Moreover, it would be in your best interests to continue to show us that you aren't our enemy. A promise is built on mutual trust, and trust is fostered through daily communication. Hmm. You don't need to worry. As usual, it's a simple assignment. No dirty work. Do understand we're giving you special treatment despite your distaste. Consider it a sign of our respect. Now regarding the assignment, you'll be tasked with security in a smuggling operation. This is already starting to sound pretty shady. Funny, coming from an ex-Yakuza, you won't be expected to use force. The client is the leader of a rebel group under an authoritarian regime in Asia. In our eyes, they're a band of freedom fighters, but in their own home, they're considered terrorists. Terrorists? The leader wants certain goods they acquired in Japan to be delivered to him so he can fill his war chest. The Daidoji faction is going to help him accomplish this. So how do I fit into all this? Well, let me finish. He originally went to the U.S. Central Intelligence Agency for help. Who better to go to than some fellow dictator-hating freedom lovers? The CIA often turns to us for this sort of delicate, under-the-table job. In their words, we're to transport a promising revolutionary's property out of Japan. However, there can be no evidence that Japan or the United States were ever involved. And what is this property? A boat's worth of gold bullion. Yes, in this day and age. Hence, the need for manpower. I see. Your assignment is to stand guard until the bullion is loaded onto the ship. Several agents with the faction will be present, including me. All you have to do is stand there. Like I said, it's simple. I thought the Daidoji were loyal patriots. Isn't this kind of thing beneath you? Our organizational power is necessary to make this job possible. Exporting gold bullion is a legal nightmare. Influential figures in the faction had to pull whatever strings they could to make it happen. Trust me, neither the CIA nor the revolutionary leader will forget the favor. Is that so? Consider it one way of earning money under the table. Actions like this help strengthen the Daidoji. A swan may appear to swim gracefully, but beneath the water, its legs are feverishly scrambling. Are we going to hell for talking about this here? What was that? My hearing has been getting worse lately. Seems as though we're in the clear. Either way, that's not my kind of work. Am I interrupting other plans? You have somewhere else you need to be? <laughs> Remember, should you leave here, and the world finds out that Kazuma Kiryu lives, 
we would see that as a promise broken. And if that happens, you won't be the only one who suffers. Think of the people, the children you threw your life away to protect. I've heard this a hundred times. I get it. I'm the one who proposed this pact in the first place. As long as we're clear, shall we continue with the rest of the briefing? A semi-truck carrying the gold is on its way here. I see. There's still some time before it arrives. Feel free to relax for now. Until that gold makes it on the ship, everyone in a one kilometer radius is working for us. They're all Daidoji agents. They can handle themselves. Your only task is to stand here with them. Wasn't the operation supposed to be secret? This sounds extensive. There's a big reward in it for us. We have to show the client we're taking this seriously. So we've all just been gathered here for show. I'm going to check on the others. Are you fine by yourself? Do they know who I am? No. All they know is that you're one of their associates. They all address each other by code names as well. Do take care not to inadvertently reveal yourself. You're sure you right? Something up? No, nothing in particular. Then get back to your post. This job may be simple, but never let your guard down. You don't want to get careless. No telling what punishment you'd face. Chug this. It'll give you some pep. Thanks. Sure you. Something going on? No, it's fine. Nothing to report. Well, good. Never know when or where something could go wrong on a job like this. Always got to be at your best. If you start feeling rough, drink this. Thanks. Will do. Hey! Where do you think you're going? I'm not going anywhere. Just stretching my legs. Don't abandon your post like that. I'm covering this area. Get back where you belong. Right. Same old story. No matter how great you are, age turns us all into miserable old bastards. Even the dragon of Dojima. Kazuma Kiryu, the fourth chairman of the Tojo clan. Guess it's been three years now? I actually played a small part in faking your death. Man, what a pain in the ass that was. Still never got any thanks for it. What? No need to play dumb. We work for the same people. Nobody cares whether some Yakuza is dead or alive. But this has got me wondering. Is the legendary Yakuza as strong as they say? You were the number one brawler in town, weren't you? Think you could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a bunch of tough guys like us? Oh, I see. So that's how it's gonna be. What is? You want me to go back to my post? Or you want me to take the bait? Doesn't matter to me. <laughs> All right. That's what I'm talking about. Don't go too hard on him just because he's Yakuza. Hold back a little, all right? Oh. There's no way the legendary dragon could be that weak. And if he was, how would he live with himself? Yeah, that's a good question. Okay, you ready? 
Why don't we start off with some nice, slow right jabs? Just promise me you won't go down in one hit. <laughs> Here it comes! This job turned out to be more fun than I thought. Yeah, let's go. Did he take all of us on by himself? <sighs> Looks like you enjoyed yourselves. Can you return to your posts now? Fortunately, the truck seems to be running a little late. I'll pretend I didn't see you goofing off. <clears throat> You're looking more like a technical fighter now. Well... Neutralizing the enemy methodically is smarter than a street fight, is it not? I only bother to learn it to kill time at the temple. I was only killing time with this fight, too. Same story for the rest of my life. I can't say I'll ever understand someone who lives to fight others. Then keep your nose out of it. <laughs> I'll be careful in the future. Who are you? Hmm? Yeah. Yes. Is this gonna be an issue? It looks like everyone here knows who I am now. It's not a problem, provided it doesn't get out. You have a lot of faith in the Daidoji. Maybe too much, if you ask me. No organization is perfect, but we're certainly better than the Tojo clan. Oh. They were wiped out in the Kamurocho cleanup operation two years ago. Because of the governor's so-called 3K plan, the chairman and his officers were the first to disappear. Now, the Omi Alliance has taken over Kamurocho, and the man who pulled the trigger on it all was a trifling Tojo clan officer, Masumi Arakawa. If one traitor can bring down an entire clan, then perhaps the foundations were fragile to begin with. We intend to learn from their mistakes. I say one thing and this is what I get from you, huh? All right. I'll refrain from insulting the Tojo clan any further. It's the organization you devoted the majority of your life to, after all. Not only my own. All of the people I've cared about. 
Their lives are tied to the Tojo clan. For all that to go up in smoke, I still can't believe it's real. I don't think this will come as any consolation, but... Hmm? The days when Yakuza could go strutting around in the open are over. I think the Tojo clan was destined to disappear no matter what. Inevitably, the Omi Alliance pushing in from Kansai will suffer the same fate as well. It's only a matter of time. You were right. About what? There was no consolation. Hmm. Sorry to hear that. 